Creo 4.0, Lesson 2, Part 3. We're going to create a map key in this lesson, this portion of the lesson, and click on File, Options, and Environment, and then Map Key Settings. So we're going to record a sequence of commands. It's going to be a new, and I'm going to choose F7, whatever it says to do in the book, do. And I'm going to just give a truncated name here, disk or display. And again, I'm going to give a new number or new name compared to the ones I've been using every time I record this. So I'm going to click on record. Now everything I do is going to be in this recording. So I'll just rotate something around. Maybe I will turn all of these off. Maybe I'll turn those off. I'll hit Control D. Go up to File, Options, and go to Environment, System, Model Tree. And I think I'm going to change this to isometric. And let's just reduce this to 40, just to be doing a series of steps shade very small surfaces. I have that checked. I think we should keep it checked. And go down to Entity. And here you can see we could change it. Let's say change it with Reflection. And let's show all of these items. Apply. OK. No. You don't want to do this yet. You don't want to save it. You want to save yours, but I'm not going to save mine. And you can see it recorded some of the information here. Now I'm going to go to View, make sure these are all turned on. I'm going to turn that back on. And zoom out. I think I'll go over here and do Control D again. And stop. So you can add pretty much any command to this file that you're creating for a map key. So. I'm going to click on OK and go to File, Options, Ribbon, and click on the category and go down to Map Keys. So here's my new map key. And I can put it over here anywhere I want. If I want to create a new tab, I could do that, add a new tab, and type in some name for it. Oh, I forgot to do Rename. Do display. Again, maybe I'll do, yeah, just display is good enough. Okay. And under the new, that's the, uh, the name of the item. And we're going to move this over there, like so. And we could change the tab name also. Anything that you want. Even if you wanted to misspell it. Right. Now, as far as customization goes, this one is going to show up in a tab. Um, but let's um, click on this first and do some modifications. And let's choose from existing. A lot of ones here that we can choose. Let's just choose a generic looking thing. And then let's modify that one by editing it, whatever you want to do. I know it's ugly, but what can I say? Do whatever you want. Click on OK, and that'll become your new icon. So let's go over to the quick access one, and that'll be up here in the top. And we could move that one under that. Shortcut menus. Maybe we want to put it in this primary one. Just drag and drop it, like so. Click on OK. And that should do it. Now, I think what I'll do here is I'll go to the default. Well, maybe not. I'm just going to zoom out. I will put hidden line on. 
like so. And then if I go and right mouse button, you can see it's available here. And it went through the whole sequence that I had recorded, turned on all my tags, did pretty much anything I wanted on that one. Now, if I opened up a different part, and this is the one from uh, lesson number six, and I'll just rotate this around a little bit, and right mouse button and see if it'll run it, and it does. So I can use that for any project, obviously. This concludes the map key portion of lesson two.